Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Learnings. Today we are going to talk about a design pattern which is called two phase commit. So let me write here two phase commit. In short, we also call it 2PC. So two phase commit is a design pattern that is built for distributed transaction that resolves the problem of distributed transaction. So when we say distributed transaction, it means it is a transaction which is split across services, right? So it means we are talking about microservices architecture world, all right? I'm assuming that we, you know, are aware of the concept of distributed transaction. Just like I said, in short, it is a transaction which is going to be split across services. For example, if you have, let's say, order service and you have payment service all right so order service let's say it has its own order database similarly payment service has its own payment db so both the services let's see if you are trying to place an order so you will of course do the payment and uh, uh, you you know uh, then place the order right so this operation is basically uh, going to spread across two services which are maintaining their own databases so how do we make sure that the order is placed successfully it means order service has you know has changes stored in the order database the payment service has payment details payment is successful and its details are stored in the payment database so transaction like we usually say the asset properties right so how we are going to make sure that this transaction maybe you know the in case of two phase commit we usually talk about the atomicity and isolation more right so how do we make sure that everything succeeds or everything gets rolled back and maybe the isolation part if let's say order database uh, there are changes which have been done in order db or for that matter let's say the payment is done or the credit has been reserved for the customer so what if you know somebody tries to do another operation at the same time it may not be you know relevant for order and payment but for some other scenario it may be applicable if you're trying to access the same data right which is being used in a different transaction at the moment so how what will you do will you show the updated data or will you show the old copy of data so that is something you know the two-phase commit deals about it deals about the problems of distributed transaction in microservices world all right so let's talk about more uh, so two phase commit as the name suggests so it is going to involve two phases one is phase one another one is phase two so phase one we call it as the prepare phase and phase two is called commit phase so what is prepare phase before we you know try to understand the phases we need to understand one more point here there is a need of a coordinator component or a coordinator service you can call it anything but what is the purpose of this coordinator so the role of this coordinator is to make sure this transaction happens now it is going to interact with these services which you know which are going to take part in that transaction so the coordinator is going to interact with order service as well as it is going to interact with the payment service now how so prepare phase in prepare phase the coordinator is asked it will ask the services to prepare for the changes prepare for the changes all right and if everybody says okay i am prepared all right i am prepared so they will you know respond back to the coordinator with a yes or no now commit phase says if everybody says yes if everyone says yes i mean the every service uh, responds with a success message then if then the coordinator says okay do the commit 
all right so means make the changes or make the changes or persist the changes right i hope now it is clear in the prepare phase the coordinator is going to ask the services to prepare for the changes and they will say okay we are prepared let's say if there is an order service and payment service so coordinator will ask payment service let's say reserve the credit for the customer all right suppose uh, it it may include some validations as well suppose you are trying to purchase uh, or do a payment of 100 rupees and your account balance is less than 100 so in that case payment service can say i cannot i could not prepare right because the balance is low so then the coordinator can simply make sure that if any other service had done some changes so then the, those changes are going to get rolled back it will ask those services to roll back those changes so the commit will happen so this phase basically is going to uh, you know commit is going to take place if and if everybody says yes else if if anyone says no if anyone says no then roll back then the coordinator is going to ask the service you know other services which had uh, done the uh, which had uh, you know says uh, which had said yes in the prepare phase that roll back your changes please okay so uh, i have two very good images which i have taken from the reddit article so i'll just show you those images it will make the things more clear so coordinator right customer microservice and order microservice this is a sequence diagram so coordinator says create the transaction okay with this transaction id prepare the uh, update customer fund and it asks prepare create order to the order microservice if both the services says prepared prepared then in the second phase the coordinator asks both the services to commit the changes both the services say done end of the transaction this is how a happy path looks like and this is you know with this diagram i think you should be able to see here the importance of coordinator right it is now this risk it is the responsibility of coordinator to make sure you know the changes are done by both the services i have one more diagram for you which is for the failure case let's see that as well so coordinator is basically uh, again same thing calls customer microservice prepare a customer fund prepare update customer fund and it calls the order service prepare for the creating order part customer service uh, responded with a failed order microservice responded with prepared so coordinator now you know sent one more message to this order service i would say with that roll back your changes or abort this you know transaction and it says done okay and then end of the transaction so in this case you know all the changes that order microservice did in the prepare phase so they were rolled back why because customer microservice said hey i i failed to prepare for the changes so that's how you know the prepare phase and commit phase works like works in the two phase commit and uh, that's how you know a distributed transaction problem is resolved using this design pattern i hope uh, i was able to explain you this and this will be really helpful uh, to understand more design pattern like for example saga design pattern and in the next session we are going to also talk about the disadvantage of uh, you know of this pattern is it useful really uh, if you talk about in terms of practical implementation right so we are going to talk about those aspects in the next uh, session about two phase commit okay so till then take care goodbye and thanks for watching the video